Well, guys, welcome to another episode of Kego Kingdom. Today's topic is Huinyuan video. How to run it on Kego for free, end to end, as you can see on the screen. So, that being said, let's get started. Uh, so if you look at the screen, so basically this is running right now. So you can see that it has original video from Huiyuan, uh, which is running uh, on Kaggle. And also have another video, which is scaled version of that. So you can actually have uh, the original video scaled to a very high quality video. And the third one is basically you use the scaled video to make another movie. So, and if you look at this um, specific video that I already did a... a zoom out so you can see that um, you can, this is actually the one that you're looking at from original Huion video and the second one this is the scaled version of it and the third one is basically made a five second movie so in this tutorial we're going to show you how to do that exactly step by step on Kaggle so interested let's get started uh, so if you go to Kiko book, uh, create a notebook called, say, Convo UI Huiyun video. So uh, Kiko has 16 gig of, gig of VRAM, so you can uh, comfortably run Huiyun video uh, on Kiko's GPU. And the best part is it's 100% free. So, um, And then first, I just uh, move this uh, default working directory to Kiko temp, because the default uh, working only has about 20 gigs. But the uh, temp directory actually have up to 70 gigs. So you can see that Huiyun video only uses 15 gigs. Um, that, uh, so basically, maybe you can try the default working, but I, I switch to the Kiko temp. Um, so, and then you have to basically install uh, Torch certificate, Torch audio uh, using the nightly build CUDA 12.4. Uh, so this is uh, supported by Confi UI. So then you do a git clone of the Confi UI. And after that, make sure you go to the uh, Kaggle Temp Comp UI folder and do a pp install for all these requirements. And that's how you set up Comp UI on Kaggle. And then we start the Huiyuan uh, video. And first, you have to download the uh, GGUI version. Um, so the GGUI version is from the CD96 Huiyuan video GGUI. They have different uh, quantized versions. So I just choose the uh, 4-bit. So you can see that's Huiyuan video, text to video. 720p um, Q4, so that's a 4-bit medium. And then after you downloaded this, just move this uh, GGUF to the CovUI models unit folder. So that's how you set up the GGUF. Uh, so this is gonna be uh, this uh, node, uh, GGUF node. So this is uh, not exactly the original uh, workflow, so I did a little bit tweak, so we'll talk about this later in this video. Uh, but uh, you need to uh, download the original workflow from the Comfy UI official repo and then make some changes. So let's continue with the Kego notebook. After you download the GGUF, then you download the clip. So the clip is from the official uh, Comfy uh, anonymous Flux text encoder folder. So just uh, go to this Flux text encoders and get the clip underscore out save tensors. That's the first clip because we use dual clip, so you need to download the other clip as well. So when you first download the first clip, move that uh, clip underscore out to the uh, models clip folder. So after that, and you download the second clip. So the second clip is another GGUF clip. So this is actually the uh, quantized version, so it's small. And the uh, offshore repo asks you to download Lava Lama 3 AB text encoder, but that one is very big. So this IBN Abdim so created a quantized version, a GGUF version. So you can just download from there. It's only about four gigs. The original maybe nine gigs, I think. Um, maybe even bigger. But just download this quantized version and uh, move that uh, GGUF uh, to this uh, Comfy UI models clip folder as well. So we got two um, clips. One is from um, the uh, clip underscore L tensors. The other one is from the quantized uh, Lava Lama 3 uh, 8B. So that's the clips. Then you set up the VAE. So you can download the VAE from Kaijai, Hongyong Video Comfy UI uh, Comfy, and then the Hongyong Video VAE BF16 save tensors. You can also choose the FP32 tensors, but BF16 tensors is smaller. So choose that one. It works. And then move this um, VAE 
to the Kaggle temp config UI models VA folder. So that's how we set up VA. Then, because this video uh, is also uh, have the upscale functionality, so uh, we also have to download the upscale upscale model. Uh, we basically use a model to upscale it. And so to do that, just download this uh, Facehug Man 3, 4X, Full Hardy, Remind Cry, and the PTH file. So just download this file to for this upscale functionality. Then move this file to the uh, models upscale models folder. So that's the upscale part. And so that's actually all you need for the dependencies. And after you download all these dependencies, uh, just make sure the uh, git lfs, the large file storage, uh, is exist, and then download this uh, custom nodes. So once is the config UI GGUIF custom node. So because we have a lot of GGUIF models, so make sure you download uh, the config UI GGUIF custom node from CD96, and also you need the config UI manager. So uh, make sure uh, you download config UI manager as well. After you download both uh, custom nodes and you should be able to spin up uh, but um, when you spin up the config ui you also need to install config ui frame interpolation and also config ui video hopper suite so we'll show that later um, in this video and after you download everything just do ls to check everything exists in the config ui folder the customer nodes you can see that we download the customer nodes we download the, the uh, unit and we download the, the uh, clips and then we download the, the uh, VAE and also lastly we download the uh, upscale model so that's it and then you can spin up the uh, config UI using py ngrok and ngrok and make sure uh, you create a function to run bash command within python and then also get the ngrok token from ngrok console after that uh, make sure you point the public ngrok url which is 3d10 in this case, and point to your local config UI port, which is 81880. So this is the one that you're looking at right now. So this is running uh, in this notebook. You can see this is running in this notebook right now. And it is working because you can see refresh the page through D10. This is working. So this, uh, and then after that, you just see it to this folder, config UI folder, and run uh, main.py. That's it. You can see the config UI is been up on 81880, and you can access it from this public. URL. So after you spin up the config UI, there are a couple of things you have to do. And first thing, download the workflow. And the original workflow can download from here, the workflow in JSON format. You can download this one. After that, uh, you need to make a few changes for the original workflow. You can see from the original workflow, it's quite a bit different. This is the mo workflow that we modified. The changes um, is uh, first, so you can see that original one is using the diffusion model so it's not the GUF model and the dual clip loader are not GUF. so make sure you switch everything to GUF. the first one the unit loader GUF. so to use the model you download it which is Huin Yuan video I2, um, i2v or t2v uh, 720 uh, 4-bit quantized model that was downloaded and then the other one is dual clip loader GUF. So the first one is clip that underscore out with download it. The other one is Llama uh, 3, uh, Lava Llama 3, 8B text encoder. Uh, this also quantizes GUF. And the other change we have to make um, is this uh, empty Huang Yun latent video. Make sure that you uh, specify appropriate width and height. So if you specify the um, original width and height, then it will not, will not work with Kego. So for example, the original one, I think is oh, 848 and then 480. This is, will not work, okay? And make sure you specify uh, 720 or uh, lower width, and also the height is 416. This one works. But you can also uh, make it smaller, which means you will use less VRAM. And the length is 60, so it's about two seconds. You can also adjust the length as well. Uh, if you decrease the width and height, you can also increase the length. So, and other change that we have to make besides all these changes is that the upscaling. So, uh, if you look at the original one, they basically have a uh, safe animated uh, WebP. So, this is uh, not scalable. Instead, we use this um, video combine. So, to use video combine, 
you have to install the video hopper suite. So if you go to the manager, custom node, that's the custom node we're talking about to install via the uh, Config UI node manager. So if you go to the installed, so you can see we installed Config UI manager, the frame interpolation, and Config UI GGUF and Config UI video hopper suite. So um, we install this Config UI frame interpolation and also the video hopper suite through the uh, Config UI manager. But the other two we already installed within Kaigo. So, and let's continue with the Config UI canvas. So after we installed all the dependencies, make sure you switch the default uh, animated WebP to this video combine. So you can see the first video combine is directly replacing the original WebP. So the image connect to this video combine. And also after uh, you generated the uh, video, original video from Huangyuan, then you basically scale that video. So to do that, just load the upscale model using the 4x full hardy and use this model to scale this uh, original Huangyuan video, which is a uh, lower resolution. And uh, after that, make sure um, use the upscale image using model so then you use this model to upscale that uh, video and then you create another node is upscale image and basically the method is length source and then make sure you can specify that width and height you can see the width and height is a very high resolution is uh, 1920 and 1080 so you can actually have a very small original volume video but it can scale to very high resolution which is very very cool and you can see that after you upscale the image, you can also um, link that to video combine. So you have up, low, uh, upscaled video. That that one you can see here. So very good quality. And also, if you want to make a movie out of this uh, video, two seconds video, you can just create a film uh, VFI, right? Uh, and also link that to video combine as well. So you don't have to download the checkpoint. The default one works because it says optional interpolation states just directly create a film vfi and link, link it to video combine also make sure the frame rate is set to 24 and default i believe that's 8 so make sure that's scaled, uh, set to 24 and make sure the format is, is mp4 you can use other format and then change the frame rate as, as your choice but this one works pretty well that being said this is how you set up um when you own video end to end on Kegel Notebook for free. So um, hopefully this is helpful. If you do like this video, uh, please subscribe, like or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.